Ministry of Health of Ukraine. Croc 2. Medicine. Year 2019. Number 115. A woman is 40 weeks pregnant. The fetus is in the longitudinal lie and cephalic presentation. Pelvic. Size. 2629-3120. Expected weight of the fetus is 4,800 gram. The labor contractions have been lasting for 12 hours. Within the last two hours they were extremely painful. The parturient woman is anxious. The waters broke four hours ago. On external examination the contraction ring is located to finger widths above the navel. Henkel Vasten sign is positive. Fetal heart rate is 160 per minute. Muffle. On internal examination the uterine cervix is fully open, the head is engaged and pressed to the entrance into the lesser pelvis. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Abruption of the normally positioned. B. Anatomically contracted pelvis. C. Threatened. Uterine rupture. D. Complete uterine rupture. E. Hyperactive uterine contractions. Fetal lie is the relation of the long axis of the fetus to that of the mother, and is either longitudinal or transverse. Occasionally, the fetal and the maternal axes may cross at a 45-degree angle, forming an oblique lie, which is unstable and always becomes longitudinal or transverse. During the course of labor, fetal presentation refers to the presenting part of the body of the fetus that is either foremost within the birth canal or in closest proximity to it. The presenting Part can be felt through the cervix on vaginal examination. Accordingly, in longitudinal lies, the presenting part is either the fetal head or breech, creating cephalic and breech presentations. Respectively, when the fetus lies with the long axis transversely, the shoulder is the presenting part. Thus, a shoulder presentation is felt through the cervix on vaginal examination. Pelvis measuring is the most important method of pelvis examination. Most internal dimensions of the pelvis are inaccessible for measurement, therefore usually its external dimensions are measured using the pelvimeter, by which the internal ones are evaluated. Dimensions of small pelvis are of great importance in obstetric practice since the course and completion of delivery depend on them. Measured four main dimensions of the pelvis, three transversal and one straight, distantia spinorum. Distance between the antero superior axes of the ilia. Average, 25 cm, distantia cristorum. Distance between the most distant points of the iliac crests. Average, 28 cm, distantia trochanterica. Distance between the greater trochanters. Average, 31 cm, conjugata externa. External conjugate, straight dimension of pelvis. Average, 20 cm. Stages of labor, 1. Slow opening of the cervix. 2. Birth of a baby. 3. Separation and birth of the placenta. 4. The first two hours after birth. Main signs of labor starting, contractions, a, show, a mucous blood-tinged vaginal discharge. Waters breaking. A contraction ring is a spasmodic contraction of the lower portion of the uterus which usually occurs during the first phase of labor, but persists into the second stage. The ring then contracts round the child's neck and prevents the child descending, thus delaying and preventing delivery. Positive in henkel Waston's sign indicates that the baby's head surface is above the surface of the symphysis. A big fetus is a fetus 4,000 to 5,000 grams and a gigantic fetus is more than 5,000 grams. Genetic, increased intake 
of the carbohydrates and diabetes mellitus can be the causes for big or gigantic fetus. Prolonged labor is defined if the baby is not born after 18 to 24 hours of regular contractions. Causes of prolonged labor The baby is very big and cannot move through the birth canal. The baby is in an abnormal position. Normally, the baby is head down facing the back. The birth canal is too small for the baby to move through. The mother's contractions are very weak. Signs of clinically contracted pelvis. Head is arrested in the pelvic inlet. Uterine. Contractions abnormality. Positive Vastin sign. Signs of urinary bladder compression. Edema of the cervix and vaginal walls. Productions of fistulas. Danger of uterine rupture. Formation of a pathologic contractile ring. Diagnosis for threatened uterine rupture. Severe disproportion between the pelvis and the fetal head, painful low segment of the uterus, high location of the contraction ring, pressure to the cervix, back pain, cervical edema, spread of the external genitalia. Symptoms for uterine rupture, acute onset abdominal pain, vaginal bleeding, non-reassuring, fetal heart rate tracing on tocodynamometry. Tocodynamometer is a pressure-sensitive device placed on the mother's abdomen over the area of strongest contractions to measure the length, frequency, and strength of uterine contractions. Change in the contraction pattern on abdominal ultrasound. Abnormality in the uterine wall. Hematoma next to a hysterotomy scar. Free fluid in the peritoneum. Anhydramnios, complete or near complete lack of amniotic fluid, fetal parts outside the uterus. The fetal heart rate between 110 and 160 BPM is considered normal. Muffled heart sounds result when fluid or tissue acts as a barrier between the heart and the stethoscope. The answer is C. Threatened uterine rupture.